Welcome to another Jetty Wolf moment in the truck. Yeah, everybody sure did love my last video about a broken Spyderco knife. I didn't do that for any subscribers. I did that for the Spyderco knife guys. The saga continues with my Suzuki. It is back in the shop for the sheer fact that the lower unit keeps getting salt water in it. So I left my Makita Flazol box in the boat and I gotta go over there and get it. All the way over in Del Marine. So here I am, it's 8.19 in the morning on a Friday, driving through this absolute shithole traffic. I don't experience this much because I'm not out on the road, you know, with these wackos here. But most of the wackos that I see on the road these days are women, younger women. It's unbelievable the shit that they'll do behind the wheel of a car. This is the third time now that my motor has been over in at Del Marine for water in the lower unit. Moisture, not water water, but enough to turn the, the whole gear loop, you know, creamy. Creamy ain't good. And they need to just change a lot of the seals. That's what they need to do. They keep pressure testing it with it sitting on the boat. They keep pressure testing it. And that ain't cutting it. And they need to pull the lower unit off and change the seals or something. I just believe that after talking to a lot of people at the Jacksonville Offshore Sport Fishing Club swap night last night, which boy has that place changed. Woo! That, that old fishing club of mine, I, I go maybe once or twice a year, but it's changed. Um, I talked to a lot of people last night, and you know, there's that shaft seal underneath the water pump. And they've only got a certain amount of time to look at it right now, because guess what? Life ends next Friday. They shut down for a week, because it's boat show time. Time to sell some boats. And I told them, I said, well, good. You probably need another truck to transport some boats to the to the uh, convention center or wherever the hell they're going. I'm for hire. This truck right here is a pulling son of a bitch. This truck has more power than I know what to do with. I never max this power out on this truck. Oh my God, come on, Schmohawk. <laughs> Look at this piece of shit car. I got a Mitsubishi Lancer. A Lancer. I think that's kind of the shit cars they drive down there in Australia. A Mitsubishi Lancer. Yeah. Guy's going like five miles an hour down a 55 mile an hour road. So I finally got rid of a bunch of tackle last night. I got rid of a live well. I didn't get rid of a cooler. I had a little cooler, 26 quart frostbite, roto molded cooler. Nobody wanted it. I got rid of a giant drift sea anchor, parachute type anchor. I got rid of my two jigging rods that I've had on my Facebook page for like a year. I cannot believe Facebook is for shit. 
I mean, I've had them on every marketplace thing on Facebook. Facebook is for shit. I traded those two rods for like hundreds and hundreds of feet of anchor line. Brand new anchor line. Last night at the swap meet at the fishing club. Something I can actually use because I couldn't take customers out jigging offshore, that's for sure. They just can't get it. Vertical jigging. So I gave that up 100%. A picture. Well, you saw the little bit of footage there. It was at the uh, mechanic at Del Marine. And he had my lower unit off and on a stand with water bubbles, you know, soapy water, pressurizing the lower unit. And he goes, it's not leaking. And while I'm standing there, I'm looking around the shifter shaft seal and I see air bu or bubbles in the, in the soap, right there. And then I said, well, how about underneath the water pump? There's a seal. And you can't see it with the water pump on it. And a mechanic who, they always have an attitude. They always sort of have an attitude. You're paying them $100, $110 an hour. That's my problem. They're in the service industry. I'm in the service industry. So we'll say here, I don't know what they're doing. They're gonna do with that. They've got one week. I got a charter coming in from west of Jacksonville on the 28th. Looked it up. This is a fact, folks. In the last like 28 days when I looked this up, subscribers, everybody who's a subscriber, which is like, I got over 7,000 subscribers. Subscribers in the last 28 days of when I looked at it were responsible for like 7% I know the sun's in it. The sun's right here, isn't it? The subscribers were responsible for 7% of the viewership of my videos. So, subscribers don't mean anything. Keep giving away free info and telling us all about ugly sticks. Well, you know what? I, I ran out of shit I could say about ugly sticks and reels. I've got hundreds of videos about that. Hundreds. I'm running out. But yeah, the average watch time from a subscriber was barely four minutes. So when you look at the stats you know, yeah, it's it's really an uplifting moment. I'm thinking about going to the boat show next this next weekend, Jacksonville Boat Show, and I'm gonna walk around and critique these boats. It's like I don't need a big screen TV, and I don't ever want a big screen TV in my truck. Same thing is like with boats. But I'm thinking about going because take my camera down there and do some man on the street. I like pure utilitarian. Pure utilitarian. You go walking up to a boat and you go, where are you putting the jetty anchor? 
That's shit you got to pay attention to in Jacksonville. Where are you putting your jetty anchor? Oh, that's right. You don't need a jetty anchor anymore. <laughs>